with step two, um, the main thing that we're, we're doing is just adding the down to the picture. So step one, just to review, is that your dog will approach the, um, the boundary and put all four feet on it. And step two is that they'll approach the boundary, put all four feet on it, and lie down. So by the end of step two, when you know you're ready to move on to step three, is when the dog will do that, come to the boundary and lay down. Um, I like to wait until the dog offers behaviors that I'm looking for, but you can also lure, lure the dog into a down if they're um, not used to offering behaviors. Maybe they haven't done any shaping. Maybe they're just not that dog. <laughs> um, so if you're having trouble with that, you can lure them into the down position once all four feet are on, but I would um, only do that in the beginning. And then as they get better at coming to the bed and going down, you can start waiting a little bit and waiting for them to offer that behavior. Before you move on to step three, I want the dog to be coming to the bed or the boundary and lying down though. Um, so um, we are just going to go ahead and release him. Now he has release words, but I will show you how to re uh, teach release cues in the next step if your dog doesn't already have one. So just waiting for him to um, put all four in the bed. Nice, and lay down. See now, like I said, he's got some boundary experience. So he's um, gonna go ahead and offer that since that's the way he was taught. Um, but for our dog that didn't, I'll try to catch him before he lies down to show you what the lure would look like and to show you how to shape it. Nice. See, the, the lure is just putting it down in between their legs and that's how you would lure the down. Um, what I would prefer you to do if it's possible with the dog is to get it is to um, wait until they get on the bed um, and then um, you know obviously you want them to get on the bed and go down just like he did but if they get on the bed and they're just standing there then reward um, you know approximations to it so if it's a really busy wiggly dog if they're on there and they show a moment of stillness reward that um, and then reward a sit and then reward a down until they can come on and do a down right away. So um, that is basically step two, it is the same as step one, um, but you're adding the added criteria four feet on plus a down, okay? So I'll show you just a, a couple more times so you can see that. Get it. <laughs> okay. And so the big thing is if your dog knows a down, I don't want you to, I don't want you to cue the down um, because I want the dog to see that as part of the exercise. So the bed, um, going to the bed and laying down is the whole thing. <laughs> so I don't want you to feel like, um, I want you to go to the bed, I want to tell you down, and then I want to tell you stay. It's that it's all just one cue. So you're gonna give them the cue and we'll go over what the cue is, you know, some suggestions and when to introduce it. But um, you wanna give them the cue and then have them do the full behavior so you're not having to kind of manage the whole situation. So that's kind of the way step two works is just getting them to lie down.